Okay, let's meditate, meditate for a few minutes. Hanam Pavana Sakpakna. Close your eyes. Take a couple of good, long, deep in and out breaths. And notice how you feel the breathing. And if it, notice also if it's comfortable. If it's not comfortable, you can breathe in another way. Make the breath, breath shorter, more shallow, faster, slower, heavier, lighter. Try to figure out what kind of breathing feels best for the body right now, and then stick with that as long as it feels good. And then after a while, if it doesn't feel good, then you can change, because you have to breathe one way or another. So you want to learn how to breathe in a way that's actually helpful for getting the mind to settle down in the present moment, to feel at home here in the present moment. Because it's right here where you're making your decisions. And all too often we run away and let the, the underlings make the decision. In other words, a lot of unconscious thoughts go into why we do and say things. And all too often we come back and wonder why we said it, why we did it. You want to be right there when the decision is being made. And to be right here, you have to have a sense of ease. So try to create that sense of ease right now by the way you breathe. I'm going to show some respect for the fact that you are shaping your life with your decisions. We complain about what other people do and other people say, and the, the weather outside, all kinds of things outside. But what really weighs the mind down is the unnecessary suffering you create for yourself, the unnecessary stress you put on yourself. Now you're going to see that. We have to look in the present moment to see what kind of decisions you're making. Are you making good decisions? Are you base, basing them on goodwill, compassion? Or are you just making any old decision? Anything that pops in your mind, just go ahead and do that. That's not really good, because who knows what habits are acting out. So try to take some time to notice what you're doing and saying and thinking, and why you're doing it, what your motivation is. Ideally, you should know your motivation before you do these things so you can stop yourself in time if you realize that the motivation is not skillful. It's all pretty basic stuff, and yet we have all sorts of other agendas right now for thinking about this, thinking about that, wondering about this, all kinds of things that get in the way of actually seeing what decisions we're making and why we're making them. But if you show some respect for the fact that you've got some power here to shape your life, then you can shape it in a really good direction. So try to get used to staying right here. Any thoughts that pull you away, you can just drop them for the time being. You can come right back. Try to settle the mind right here, because this is where all the action is. The media tells us that the action is someplace else. We're, we're all connected to somebody else's words and pictures and whatnot. Which makes us ignore the fact that okay, you're making decisions right here, right now, and those are the things that are going to be shaping your life. So you better make sure that you shape them well. Try to disconnect from things outside a little bit and get connected inside. And that's where you see where all the important action is taking place. <laughs> 